Lieutenant, I want to eat, too. I could starve for all they care. Whoa. <laughs> I've been wrangling around here for six months, and that Indian still can't figure me out. <laughs> Back up, Molly. From Fenneman's here, we'll move on to Alston Station. We'll be there tonight. Now, by leaving early tomorrow, we won't have to push too hard before we meet with Captain Poole's company about here at Dry Creek. From there, he'll escort us into Oregon. With only a few days' journey to Fort Klamath and your new home, Miss Drury. I don't think I could ever make a home in this savage country. Uh, after my sister is settled, I intend to continue on to San Francisco. I uh, know I won't find it as civilized as our former home, but then one can't... Well, I thought you'd take all day without water. I'll go get some wood. Food her outside. I want food. Birch, relieve Vogel. I ain't finished yet, Lieutenant. You're finished. Now relieve Vogel. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Coffee? I'd uh, rather have tea, if you don't mind. Hey, Elwood, we got any of that tea left from last year? Tea? Uh, never mind. I I'll take the coffee. Mm -hmm. I shall have to get used to it sooner or later. How about you, lady? Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Daydreaming? <laughs> yes, I, I guess I was, Lieutenant Weeks. Beth will have time enough for that after she's married. <laughs> Not if I know Captain Poole. <laughs> uh... What I, what I mean is, well, uh, did you order the mask, Trooper? Yeah. Trooper. Huh? What is the proper way for an enlisted man to address an officer? The mounts is warded. Sir. Vogel, sit down and eat while you got a chance. Another customer for you, Kate. I'm as ready as he is. War's been over three months. This is what happens to discipline. Rabble. Nothing but rabble. I suppose we do need them to keep the Indians in line. Still, it seems a pity that men like yourself, uh, officers, must associate with men like that. Relax, boy. Eat your grub. Elwood's fixing the lunches. They'll be ready in a minute. Thanks, Kate. They told us at Salt Lake we might have some trouble getting through. Not with an escort, Miss Drury. The Indians know better than to fool with an army pay wagon. We heard rumors of fighting. Oh, 
Perhaps an occasional traveler or an unescorted wagon. Nothing serious. We have an existing treaty with the Modoc Council. We do not infringe on their territory in the Lost River area. However, there are some renegades in the lava bed country. Sometimes they break away and make raids on their own. Devil area is almost impossible to police with the men we've got. Listen to Daniel Boone. He ain't never been within spitting distance of a Modoc. Hey, Sarge, look what I got. Well, I'll be doggone. We're out here in Nevada. Forget it, Bird. The war is over. It don't hardly seem natural to see a Reb walking around free as air and not do something about it. Close the door on your way out. Still don't seem natural. Come right in, folks. Come right in. Sit right over here and make yourselves at home. So you're one of them confederated rebels, hey? Well, I'm Kate Kenneman, and I'm pleased to meet you. My name's Ben Lasseter. This is my little daughter, Abby. Hello, honey. Hey, Elwood, look. We got a real honest-to-goodness rebel here. I hope you don't mind. Elwood and me ain't never seen a reb before. Stuck way out here and all. Uh, how'd you get out here? Don't ask so many questions, Elwood. How old are you, honey? Ten. Aren't you going to do anything? There's nothing I can do, Miss Drury. The sergeant said, the war is over. Just like that, the war is over. For four years, these traitors kill and loot our country. And then because they decide to give up, everything is all right. We're supposed to forgive and forget, is that it? Well, I say they should be hung. Every last one of them. Sorry, Mrs. Penman. We're right proud to have you here, Reb. And anything you want, you just holler. Thanks. Is that lady talking about us, Daddy? What do you say we have something to eat, huh? Do you have anything you want? Why, sure. I wonder how proud you'd be if someone you loved had been killed because of men like that. Funny thing about running a place like this, Reb. You got the darndest assortment of critters coming through. <laughs> the cat'll give it. I'll wait in the coach. Doyle, get those lunches in the wagon immediately. We're pulling out. Yes, sir. All right. You heard what the lieutenant said. Now get moving. See you next month, Kate. Sure, Doyle. Behave yourself now. Good luck, Reb. Take care of the little lady. Rough country out here. Thanks, Sergeant. But she takes care of me. Goodbye. Nice man. Nice fella, Doyle. But that woman. Bad wrong with her. Note it the minute I laid eyes on her. We ain't got all day, Vogel. Ready, Nelson? Ready and waiting, Sergeant. What's the delay, Doyle? Nothing, sir. Let him roll! one of these. They're good after a meal. I sneak one myself now and then when nobody's looking. I only got four left. Thanks. Mmm, mild. Ought to be. You come all the way from San Francisco. Say, how come you figure to settle in Oregon, young lady? My mommy's sister lives there. She's the only kin we have now since mommy died. Daddy says we'll be happy there. Of course you will, honey. Things pretty bad in the South, I guess, huh? They say everything's for the best, but I'm blamed if I can see how. We'll make it all right, won't we? Sure, we'll make it fine. Do you have a place where my little girl can uh, scrub up a bit? Certainly have. I'll scrub her until she shines like a new silver dollar. Good. Maybe then you'll be worth something. Elwood, put that water on the stove. Daddy. <laughs> 
still say you ought to spend the night. A good sleep in a bed will be hard to come by between here and Oregon. Thanks. I think we can pick up about 20 miles before we get started. Say, Reb, huh? you want to take along a jug of who hit John? Who hit John? Texas whiskey. I just run off a pot. The Texas stuff is a little too strong for me. No wonder the war lasted four years. All you Reb stubborn cusses. Ready, Abby? Yes, Daddy. Fine, Miss Fenneman. Thanks for the bath. Auto last me clear to Salem. Lord, go with you. Say hello to that old skin fed Austin for me. Bye. Thanks again. What's the matter, Kate? Nothing's the matter. Don't ask so many questions. Never will understand women. Women. Some people so nice to us, and others like that lady who said those awful things. Well, that lady probably thought she had a good reason to say what she did. To her way of thinking, I probably am a traitor. But you didn't do anything to her. Not directly. But the war might have, and I was part of it. The part that was against her people. I should have told you you were a hero. You have medals. The trouble with you is, nosy, that you're just prejudiced. I'm not a hero, Abby. I only fought for what I felt was right. Travis, I'll bet you a month's pay against the dead mule and weeks don't ever show up. Oh? What makes you think so? Them Indians are still here. They're waiting and it ain't for the escort. Don't you figure Captain Poole knows that? Well, maybe, but he's green and this type of fighting don't go by the book. I sure wish the lieutenant had telling the facts of life. What do you think our losses would be if we broke out of here? Day or night? Early tomorrow. A third of the men, half the horses. What about tonight? Our chances would be better. These Modoc don't mind fighting at night, but we'd be harder to hit. I know what you're thinking, Captain. It's a rough decision to have to make. Look. Mm, fine looking girl. Yeah, I had a devil of a time getting her out here. She even made me let her bring her sister along. <laughs> She's from your hometown, isn't she? Yes, yeah, from Boston. Wouldn't mind being back there right now. I know what you mean. Daddy, look up there. Well, I guess it's about time for us to find a place to sleep, huh? Button. Let's take a look at this place. That's smoke. Does that mean Indians? Of course not, Warrior War. There's probably some. Brush fire. Now get down off the of Gus. Lay out your blankets. I'll cover the entrance so uh, they can't get out of here. Did you 
say your prayers? Mm-hmm. One for you. One for Mama. What is it, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Ozzy. Can we keep the horse? I think we better. Daddy? Huh? Are we going back to Miss Fenneman's? They were so nice to us. We're going on to Alston Station. I'm going to try and catch up with Lieutenant Weeks, tell him what we've seen. From now on in, we've got to keep our eyes open. All right? Take the road. We can't make any time this way. They're probably all gone now. The Indians, I mean. Yeah, I hope so.
you stay here. I want to take a closer look. They got me in the lake. I didn't want to move before until I made sure who you were. Abby! Bring the horses. The others? Looks like they're all dead. I haven't checked the house yet. Vogel and Birch left early to scout ahead. The rest of us were out here saddling up when about eight of them let go at us. I remember Lieutenant Weeks yelled to the ladies about a cellar underneath the house. Where's the entrance to the cellar? There's a trap door in the kitchen floor. Abby, look after him and get him some water. I'll be right back. What? Somebody's up there. Can you hear me down there? We're down here. Get us out. I'll be right there. Give me a hand. Thank you. Thank you. How's your patient? We're no better off than we were before. If the other men got away, why isn't Captain Poole here? We're gonna have to rig up some, keep his leg from jar. It's more than 20 miles to Captain Poole's camp. You won't make it dragging me along. You let me worry about that, huh? <laughs> How long are we going to wait here? Those savages might come back. We'll be waiting here until his leg is fixed. Now, you girls are probably hungry. There's some food over there on the horse. Who can eat after this? Well, suit yourself, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm afraid not. You wouldn't believe they were sisters, would you? Couldn't be less alike even if they tried. <laughs> well, let's see. Abby, I want you to give me a couple of boards about so long, I'll make a splint here. All right. Nice girl, Abby. Quite a little lady. I'm Nelson Walker. I have a hauling contract with the quartermaster at Fort Klamath. My name's Ben Lasseter. I saw you at uh, Fenneman's when we rode up. Glad you didn't come along with us. The bunch that hit you passed us early last night. They'd already been to Fenneman's. One of them found us. He had Mrs. Fenneman's cigar tin in his pack. God bless them. They were nice people. You can never tell about these Modoc outlaws. Even their own people hate them. When they raid, they split up in groups and hit two or three places at the same time. And then later they rejoin at some point and make a run back into the lava beds. That takes quite a bit of organizing. Who was the leader? A young breed called Togo. Scouted a while for Company B, long enough to learn what he wanted. 
and then took off with about 18 or 20 carbines. But they've never jumped us out this hard before. Well, this Captain Poole will probably stop them, huh? If they don't get him first. It wouldn't take too many men to pin him down in one of these canyons. Captain Poole has only eight troopers, and man for man, these Indians are better at that kind of fighting. He's all right, Daddy. All right. Now, well, it's going to hurt a little, but Abby, you better hold his leg right in here, huh? That's him. Take this boot now. Steady. Look at this. My best dress. A filthy rag. Should be glad you're able to see it again. What's that supposed to mean? Just by the grace of God, we're not lying out there dead with the others. And all you can do is complain. Have you anything more to say? Sorry, my I'm sorry. I didn't mean it the way it sounded, but you... I what? The only thing between us and whatever is out there is that man Lassiter. Our lives are in his hands, Martha. He's trying to help us. Can't you be a little grateful? You expect me to be grateful to one of his kind that killed Walter? You expect me to forget that? Why don't you stop deceiving yourself? What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing at all. I said, what do you mean? Walter wrote me just before he was killed. He'd met a girl in New York while on leave. They were married. Sorry. Hoped I'd never have to tell you. You're a liar. Didn't know how to tell you, so he asked me to do it for him. But you didn't. No, I didn't. The day the letter arrived, Walter's name was on the casualty list. I never realized it before. But you were jealous of us. Well, your lies won't do you any good. Because I know he loved me. Helpful. Why? Is this all right? That's fine, Abby. I don't want to be rolling off. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering. There's a strong box in the wagon there, payroll for the fort. This new paper money doesn't mean much to Indians. It's worth a look. What's he doing now? Why aren't we going? Daddy's looking for the money. You're right. They left it. I'll be get a food sack. How much is it? I don't know, Nosy. But there's plenty. There. Now look, one of you ladies get up on the mule, the other the horse. Abby, you take the Indian pony. What about you, Mr. Lester? I'm gonna walk. Something wrong, ma'am? That's no business of yours. Look, let's get one thing straight. We've got a lot of rough country to go over. And I'm not in any mood for a nasty disposition. What rank did you hold in the cafe? Captain, Hood's Brigade. Why? Oh, just curious. You sure told her. Why don't you pat her behind? Abby. Come on. Ready? Let's go. Not me, child. I'm fine. Do we go over there? Yeah. I just think of the same thing. through there? The best way over is by the wagon road. It follows a sort of a natural pass through the rocks. If it weren't for me tied down in this rig, well, you might make it anywhere. Oh, no, you don't. You're stuck with us now. Besides, you're Abby's patient. Right, Abby? Right. 
<laughs> well, I guess I have to follow nurse's orders. <laughs> well, that settles it. I'll go up through the rocks and stay as close to the road as possible. That'll give us a chance to get a little rest, too. Right, nurse? Right. Right. This was in your lab. What would you do? First, I'd have to think of our men. Don't you think I've thought of that? I didn't mean it that way, sir. You see, I don't think that Weeks and the others are still alive. I got this figured out as all part of a plan. I think that Taga was watching us when we split up, and he sent some of his men to stop them. Now he doesn't have enough bucks left with him to try an open charge, and he doesn't seem to care. So he's content to just sit up there and keep us pinned down here till he gets reinforcements. Well, the longer we wait, the rougher it's going to be. Don't forget we've got two wounded men who shouldn't be moved. And they'll expect to take their own chances. Can you make them out? Yeah, that's Targo, all right. I think if we catch him, the others will quit. I don't know. Sometimes it's safer to just chase those Modocs, not catch them. How far did you say they was? Well, close to 400 yards. You might as well throw a rock. You keep your eye peeled. I'll hold about eight feet over his head. <laughs> well, I hope you didn't disturb him. Now, Daddy. You better get some rest yourself, Button Nose. I will, Daddy. But I'm worried about him. He wouldn't need anything. He's awfully hot. You're right. I'll get some water. Mr. Lassiter, yeah. I have a suggestion to make. Yes, what is it, ma'am? That man is obviously in great pain. Moving him on that thing isn't helping any. Yeah? Wouldn't it be better for all of us if we made him as comfortable as we could and then rode on until we find someone we can send back to him? I'm sure that you mean well. But there are a couple of things wrong with your suggestion. We don't know what's ahead of us. And even if we did, it might take a few days to get back here. Now, do you have any more suggestions? Regardless of that, in his condition, he's slowing us down keeping us all in danger just because he can't walk. I don't think it's fair to us or to your little girl, endangering our lives because of a man who'll probably die anyway. Martha, how can you say such a thing? Don't you think you should remember that without this man, you wouldn't be here today? The lady is right. I don't feel too steady, and I'll just be holding the rest of you up. I think you ought to get on and send back for me. Let me take a look at that. I knew. I knew it this afternoon. We've got to get going. Mr. Lassiter. They're getting awfully brave. I guess they figure there's no one behind them. Modox. Something strange about that fire. Could mean they got some liquor. They're splitting up what they got from the station. Maybe both. You can never tell what they'll pull. Uh, got an idea. What are you gonna do, Daddy? Now look, Nosy. You just say a little prayer that it works. Now get the horses ready. Go on. We'll need a couple of fuses. Uh, how'd you do it? <laughs> it will. In fact, it ought to jar their ancestors. <laughs> Here. There's some water. Okay.
this is very important. As soon as I throw this, I'm going to run in and try to get one of their horses. If I succeed, I'll meet you up the road. The minute you hear the explosion, I want you to swing past them. And don't stop for anything, regardless of what happens. Now, is that clear? But, Daddy... I said don't stop, regardless of what happens. Is that clear? Yes, Daddy. If uh, anything should happen, I'll take care of Abby. I promise. Be careful. Thanks. Keep going. yourself while you still have a chance. I'm through traveling for tonight. Look, Nelson, don't let me down now. I can get you up on that horse. Come on. No! No. It's no use. I can't make it. Captain, I've always wanted to give a Confederate officer an order. Now, will you please get on that horse and get out of here? Now look, I'm not going to leave you here, you know that. This is for me, and I'll use it. I'm through, and you know it. You have a little girl to worry about. Don't throw her life away by dragging me along. I'll crawl over in the rocks there where I can rest. But when you see Captain Poole, tell him to send back some men for me. 
That's the way you want it. That's the way it's gonna be. Now, here, I'll give you those. No, Captain! I won't buy that. You just want to get close enough to get this gun. Nelson. I'll make it. You just get going. Well, what are you waiting for? Goodbye, soldier. Make it after all. Mr. Lasseter. Wish you'd call me Ben. Ben. Ben, I'm really very grateful for everything you've been trying to do for us. And Marte's too in her own way. It's just that she's always been kind of different. I understand. Company. You girls ride over to that gully and keep out of sight. You may be killed. Martha, come on, let's hurry. Mr. Lassiter! Martha, come on! Thank you. 
can stay here if you want, but I'm going down to take a look. Uh, Mr. Lassiter. Let's go. Thought they'd make it. The revenue's kid and the women. How in the devil did they get through? I don't know. All I know is they got horses. Come on, let's hit them off. Wait here. Sure must be hungry. Well, we ain't had no grubs and salsons. Porch, get up by there and take over for the rebel while. Might want some of his own grub before you clean him out. <laughs> must you do that? Do what? Martha, please leave the man alone. It's your fault I'm here. Look at me, filthy, living like an animal, surrounded by savages. What's the matter with her? Shut up, pig. You don't learn easy, do you? I remember that smart crack you made back at Fenimans. You hear that, pig? I'd like to see you wind up in some Modoc cave, Duchess. You'd be glad to see this pig, then you'd be real glad. Oh, stop it. I saved some for you, Daddy. You know, you can risk a fire if you make some coffee. Yeah. Vogel, hmm? do you think Captain Poole knows what happened to your outfit? Nah, how could he know? Me and Birch hardly got started down to Poole's camp before the Indians shot our horses right out from under us. Lucky we got out. Douglas got him sewed up. And him sitting there waiting for reinforcements. He can sit there at a window for all I give a hoot. Why hasn't Tago moved in? Well, I figure he split his war party. Half of them to keep Poole pinned down while the rest of them raid the stations. When the others come in, he'll get the pool all right. What happens if they don't? Well, then they'll sit there and snipe away at each other. One of them starves out. Unless someone gets Tago. Between you and me, Rip, I don't care which way it goes. I'm sick of wearing this fool uniform and tired of fighting for nothing. With that payroll gone, it'll be another six months of drawing vouchers. You can't even buy a jug of whiskey with. Oh, we saved the money for you. You did, huh? Well, how'd you happen to do that? The Indians left it on the wagon. I buried it. Where'd you bury it? Near Olson's. Yes, there was no sense in bringing it under these conditions. Yeah, sure. Sure, that was a good idea. What do you think we should do? Take a chance and move on? Well, ma'am, I don't know. You see something, Birch? Don't move. What's going on? Get that crazy one over here. I get over there with your brat. Move. Hurry it up, Duchess. Can't you see she fell? He ain't gonna be sick long. This here Reb's got the post payroll. Guess he figured he had himself a nice little steak. He did not. We're gonna give it back to the army. Oh, sure. That's why he said it was buried at Alston's. Where is it, Reb? Where is it? It's in the food pack on the horse. I thought so. Get his horse, Bush. Pick out one for yourself and run the rest off. No, no. You, you can't. Gus is mine. Abby. All right. Turn around, all of you. Ah! 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 
Hurry it up. You got everything you want, Bogle. Why don't you leave it at that? It's easier this way. You can't just kill us for no reason at all. Leave him be, Vogel. We got the money, now let's make a run for it. Are you out of your head? Suppose they get through, where does that leave us? This way they think the Indians got them. Deserting's one thing, killing something else. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, just do what you're told. I won't have any part of it, Vogel. Maybe you're right. Without guns or horses, they ain't got a chance for a thousand anyway. And give me my share of the money now. We might have to split up. Good idea. Keep your eye on him. Birch, here's your share. Nothing can be that bad. Oh, Ben, I... I've tried to help her. It's all been too much for her. I wanted to get Martha away from Boston. Like you wanted Oregon for Abby. I thought a change might help. Too, I, I thought I'd find my answer at Fort Klamath. No, I don't know. Just remember one thing. I haven't brought Abby this far to be stopped now. We're going to get through. All of us. I'll blow your nose and get Martha up on that horse. some grub, sir? Got some beans warmed up. I'll get some to the men. Get him up behind the rock. We've got to get out of here. Pass the word along, we're pulling out tonight. Yes, sir. You saw this. Daddy, are those Indians? Could be. They might be looking at us right now. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. We can't take the horse unbridled. Martha, come on, you've got to get hold of this. I can't go on. Martha, we've got to go. Let me go. Martha, stop it. Come go. On. Let me go. Let me go. Martha. Come on, Abby. Try 
drivers. You drive this wagon. Carpet wheel will ride guard in the rear. Remember, they're going to try to kill your team, so keep as close up as you can. Yes, sir. I'll sure hustle. Stay here, I'll be right back. stick together. Stay together until you find the soldiers. You got it? All right, let's go. Tip us off. What do we do now? I'll make a run for it. Try to draw their fire. No, Ben. You can't. It's the only thing I can't do. It's the only chance we got.
get back on guard. I don't think it's too bad, Captain. It just nicked a rib. Where's the rest of the troop? And Martha. She's still up there, Howard. And Lieutenant Weeks. Weeks and five men were killed in an ambush in Alston's. Nelson was still alive. Tried to leave him. Birch and Vogel are dead, but that's another story. You tell me that story. Just how did they die? Over the army payroll. Where is it now? It's not far back. I can take you to it. And that you will. It's the truth, Howard. Every word of it. But, Beth, I can't just take the word of this man. Would you believe me, Howard? Of course. We can discuss this later. Except, let's get these folks over behind the wagon. Make them as comfortable as you can. Yes, sir. Now keep low, everybody. Keep low. Come on, let's go, honey. You know, most of us figured that Weeks was in bad trouble, but the captain, he kept on hoping. It's quite a shock to him to hear it right out like that. Um, Miss Drury's sister, you, you figure she has a chance? Look, sweetie. You go over and see if you can help us, Beth. Go ahead. I'll be right over. Go ahead. I'll need a rifle. You know what you're doing? If you think I'm worried, you're right. Say, how many men Otago have with him now? They must have been right on your tail. I don't know, but between Nelson and myself, we stopped about eight. That's all I saw. That sort of changes things a little. You might have a surprise coming, too. I may be able to help you. She was asleep almost before I could cover. You better try and get some rest yourself while you can. I'll be all right now. You and Wheeler report back to Lieutenant Jameson. Yes, sir. Beth, there's not a thing that we can do now. I know. It's just that I feel so helpless. Wish I could have understood more. You can't blame yourself for that, Beth. You did everything you could for her. And always remember that. Howard. Howard, there's something I've got to tell you. Something you should know about. We've known each other for a long time. You're really fond of me, aren't you? Yes, I am, Howard. I don't know what to tell you or how to, how to put it, but so many things happened along the way. Have you told him that we were going to be married? No, I haven't. Oh, Howard, I'm sorry. Really sorry. Have you got enough shells? I think so. What's this toggle look like? Well, he's a big fellow. Where's a, a garrison cap? He's been watching us from one of those high points up there. Thanks.
word for us. Not me. It's something he and Jameson cooked up last night. It's a good word. He gets the right man first off. But when? Could be soon now. Come on, better get over here. You'll be safe here. Something moving up there, sir. Right where they were before. Get ready.
to the rifle. A mule. I know somebody's going to be awfully happy to see you. Come on, Gus. Captain? Samuel first? Yeah. yeah. Be good to him. We lost sight of you. Did he get away? No, sir. Ben got him. We found Martha. At least it was over with in a hurry. Going back with Jameson to pick up the payroll. I'll catch up with you before we get to Fort Klamath. I don't want to talk to you. Talk? About what? I think maybe that you and Abby might think of something. Abby? Ain't you gonna water that mule? Come on, Gus. You're just wasting time.